Hope clap. Oh shit! What's up, buddy? We're back. We are back. Took a little break for the Fourth yeah. of July. Everybody needs a break. A little patriotic endeavor. Mm-hmm. What were we? Four deep. That's a that's a record for us. Did you say four deep. Four of these deep. We've done four of these prior to uh, <laughs> taking like, a break. Finally, it's like what are we deep in? Fireworks. Well, that too. Fourth, that too. That was the fourth deep. That was a different kind of deep. This is really like wall breaking, like fourth wall breaking. Exactly. Very fourth wall breaking. But dude, what's up, man? How are you doing today? Doing good. I feel like we talked a little while beforehand when we were getting this prepared, but I didn't ask you. Yeah. Yeah. How are you today? I'm good. Good. Yeah. What's new content. in your life? Quite content. Quite content. What's new in my life? Yeah. I finished the new Resident Evil game. How was it? It's good. It took nine and a half hours. Nine and a half hours. Um, yeah, they're starting. Apparently, they're trying to reboot the whole series. What is like that? All the movies and stuff. You remember oh, they're all redoing all the movies? movies? Yeah. There's a new one coming out this year, I guess. Who's in it? A new Resident Evil movie. I don't know. Yeah. Leon, I guess. Who's Leon? Is that like a character? guy from, yeah, like the old games? No. That'll be tight. Long game story. was good. Yeah. Finish that up. Good game. You had a good 4th of July? Yeah. Fun 4th of July. Fun doing 4th fireworks and stuff. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Did you like doing the fireworks this year? I, I, for Because we're doing this on this podcast. Probably, like, I haven't said it before, but, like, my mm-hmm. family does fireworks. So, like, the 4th of July is, like, the busiest time. A little context there for you. We have my man Dustin. <laughs> Makes sense. We have my man Dustin on, uh, <laughs> on a couple shows. You just recruited the whole, like, Brighton squad. Yeah. Just, like, all the friends and stuff. It really is, like, all the people we went to, like, high school. <laughs> it's it's a like lot of doing like cheap labor or something. Nah, man, they're expensive. They, they charge a premium. True, dude, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we paid you the least amount. You got <laughs> oh, the short what? end. Bond told me he got paid less. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, it's fun. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty It's good a good, fun. like, simple, fun job to, like, learn and stuff. Yeah. And to get through. And we'll, we'll there seems cash, like there's yeah. a lot to it, yeah. yeah. There's a lot the to it. The more you get into it. Definitely. But, uh... Did you shoot off? You said a shell? No. No, you didn't? I wish I did. Yeah. Fire in the hole! This shit's and loud. Pop. With the fucking 9-volt battery. It's quick, though, because it's like a pop. Yeah. It's not like a explosion or anything. Like, no, but it's pretty... It goes you, quick. You feel it. You do feel when it. When you're like down there and someone lights one on. Like the little shock wave? Yeah. Yeah, because I've always been strong. like still decently far away, I guess. Enough to like for shit to like land on you. Yeah, but if you're like right next to it when it's going off, if you're like firing one of those shells. It's, yeah. You feel the mini shock it's wave. Son of a bitch. The air runs over it's your like, arm. Yeah. It's like, uh, was it George Washington? He was like the bullet's... Zipping past his ear, man. It's just like that. It's very patriotic. <laughs> it's a very patriotic experience. Just like George Washington. Yeah, man. Just like, <laughs> just like my yeah. man, George. It's exactly <laughs> like George. Oh, uh, shit. Well, happy 4th of July. It's the happy 11th. Of, it's the 12th of July now. Shit, man. The, the month's almost over, so we're jumping back into it here. Mm-hmm. Getting back on this. And, uh, you know, getting back on as always, track. like, subscribe, share. Uh, share. Uh, not enough people Comment. are doing that. Don't you want to see Dustin's pretty face? Come on now. <laughs> There's a little taste of that for you. <laughs> uh, so they could screenshot it. Yeah, man, we'll screenshot that. Right. We'll, we'll sell that as an NFT. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's we'll going to blow up free, someday, right? We'll sell that freeze frame of you as an NFT. <laughs> but cool. Well, we got a couple stores here. Uh, the first one is one that you found, my man. So you want to lead us up yeah. here? Tell us a little bit about what we got going on. This was a pretty short story, but it was just some, in Spain, I guess, there's like a dinosaur statue that's on display from some uh, cinema that's like out of business now. Mm -hmm. But they basically had a giant dinosaur statue and people noticed that you could see like a leg through like one of the cracks. Like a human leg through it? Yeah. And it smelled bad and apparently the firefighters had to come and open it up, which I thought was weird. I was like, how do you get in there? But then they made it sound real simple, like he just dropped his phone in there and just couldn't jump out. So he got trapped in it. What was it he made out of? He got trapped. What was the dinosaur statue made out of? Um, Paper mache. It was a paper mache statue. <laughs> yeah. So was it just like the Real man? Trojan horse style. Was it like the world's weakest man? Like he just couldn't break out of a paper <laughs> mache. <laughs> That's what I think, maybe. <laughs> if you didn't try. That's a lesson. Uh, just don't give up. Is this? A, so I clicked on the article that you linked up here. Is this a picture of the dinosaur? Yeah. They've taken it down since. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> Poor son of a bitch uh, just didn't have the hops, man. Dude, yeah, I don't know. I feel like 
I don't know, man. Maybe it was just a really like not very busy hotel, so he couldn't like beat on the side to try to get attention. Well, it's like how fast did he die? Like within like. The and he was night? only thirty nine. Yeah. Did he have like a heart attack while he was in there? Did he starve to death within like thirty minutes? He was already on like six day of fasting. Yeah, it's weird. It's a very brief article. It leaves but, a lot to be desired. Yeah, I don't know, man. This is a. Uh, it kind of reminds me of that. How did the guy start? Okay, so I want to get back on this because we <laughs> talked about it like what two, three weeks ago. Yeah, the guy in the one? whale. How did the fucking guy in the whale survive? I don't know. Apparently, he was just in the mouth though and got like spit out. Yeah, but this guy was in a paper mache dinosaur and he died. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Also, how did he drop his phone into it? That's what I was wondering too. I was like, what do you mean he dropped his phone into it? Something's not and adding up. How did he get in there? Yeah. Something's not adding up here with this dinosaur thing, I gotta say. It's the best cover up for a murder. Hiding them in a dinosaur? <laughs> it's a real, in, a, in a museum? Some real Jurassic Park shit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I believe it. Well, sorry to that guy's family, but what a weak ass way to die. <laughs> what a is. weak. What a weak ass. He was way just to die. in poor health and yeah, a little bit of poor health. Uh, R.I.P. The dinosaur statue. I R. wonder R. how much that's going for now. If like you could buy that, because I, I feel like that's one of those things that like I don't know. Maybe in like fifty years, if you went on Pawn Stars and tried to sell yeah. that, like whatever the fifty year from now equivalent of Pawn Stars is, they would be like, "No, I don't want to buy that." No, they'd call in an expert, and he'd be like, "This is oh, a dinosaur would. statue from this hotel, and a man died in it, or something." True, like, that, you like know? Blucifer exactly that horse is still up <laughs> if the horse can be up that is. killed his fucking uh artist why is this able to be there you know what somebody I mean? somebody made like profit off of it yeah yeah exactly. yeah i guess that's why they removed it right they're like this is a bad deal yeah maybe burn it and then somebody just went and sold it on the black market the dinosaur yeah did that ha no one sold it though Are no you making saying, up your own story that's what i do yeah yeah man i think i don't even think it'd have to be on the you just got to find out who has the statue now. Is There's no way that much it. though. Like you'd just be like, oh, a guy died. In Do you here. think the family gets cool. the statue in a settlement? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Yeah. His so. reparations for <laughs> his death. They get a lighted on fire. Like, Avenge me. <laughs> <laughs> Viking funeral. Yeah. Uh, oh, you just die like that. Well. What a sad Like way I to said, go. big rip to that guy's family. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to that guy's family in <laughs> big Spain. Big rip to that guy's family. Um, I don't know. There's not much else to say on it. No. The guy died in a dinosaur statue. He was it's reported dead. Thing. Apparently not suspicious. Yeah, but, no foul play suspected at the time, it says. But um, Yeah, that's know. about it. We'll see. We might keep up on that one. Odds are we won't ever hear about it again. But a funny moment in time. A sad moment Good in time moment also. time. A very conflicting moment in time. <laughs> There's a lot of funny ways to die. There's a lot of funny ways to die. And getting caught in a paper mache dinosaur statue, I got to be honest, it's up there. That's pretty up there. It's pretty up there. <laughs> <laughs> Not how I'd expect to die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, the next thing here is uh, it's it's summer, baby. It's We're hot. We're deep in the it's heat of like July. Summer. And so to help you stay cool, Dustin and I are going to do a little seltzer review for you right now. A little top of Chico. I'm going to get up and go get the seltzers because no, rule number one of seltzers is you can't drink them warm. We talked about this upstairs. Yeah, we did. You can't drink them warm. Part of me wishes that we would have a I've couple done it. of these seltzers out warm. We could have done a warm versus cool like taste side test. By you side know, a little side by taste side, test. see if it's... If like warm, it doesn't make a difference with these. But we got on deck for you the Topo Chico seltzers. I'm gonna be right back. All right, we'll just wait here for him. All right, what should I talk about? Damn, what is a co-host without a host? Honestly, you think Andy Richter could be the host of Conan? Probably not. Maybe he's got some talent. Some days behind the scene. Enough days? I don't know. Who are some other co-hosts? There's a lot of co-hosts. I can't think of any. Why only Annie Richter? And Conan. I'm back. What's Ellen without Miley Cyrus? You miss me, baby? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, we got these, we have these seltzers here. Mm-hmm. You open one up. Let's do an unboxing. Yeah. This is that. We'll get that smooth. Yeah. And these are new, right? Look at that. Woo! All right, man. What kind do you want here? We got... Uh, I don't know. What is there? 
We got tangy. What do we? What do we do in one of each? No. <laughs> <laughs> one. Uh, Just we do got little cups. Tangy lemon, tropical mango, strawberry guava, guava. It's strawberry. You want strawberry? I'm a large fan of strawberry. A little strawberry action here, or a <laughs> pineapple. I don't know what it means, but it sounds kind of racist. <laughs> it is. What about American pineapples? <laughs> I love a good American-made pineapple. <laughs> Made in the USA. Made in the USA, baby. All right, let's see what we got. What do we got here? There's the pineapple. Tell lemon, me. Tropical mango. We're missing. Where the fuck's the strawberry? Come on, man. Come on, man. Looks like it's third back. Third flavor back. Did they fuck up and just give us a bunch of tropical mango? Is it all tropical mango? I think we might have. I think we might have gotten a, a fucked up uh, container here, my man. Well, you have a lemon one there, don't you? I'm seeing. Uh, well, you have t- at least two flavors. Let's just right? see. This could be exposing Topo Chico for very faulty, uh, very faulty seltzer products, my friend. I was really looking <laughs> for faulty. This, this is a, a faulty seltzer. All right. Just so there's no no camera tricks here. You saw it all. I opened it from start yeah, to finish. Yeah, that was the first time. That was the first time we opened the box on camera. All right, there's supposed to be three of each one. Let me see here. We got to have lemon. We got the lemon. Here's your ex- pineapple. There's I'm going to bleep out. Every time I say ex- I'm going to bleep it out in post. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mango. There we go. The lemon there. We got another mango. Mango. Another mango. I don't know, man. Something. Else. <laughs> I don't know. Something seems we got, off. <laughs> <laughs> we got a botch container here. So, is this on Markdown at the store? No, man. Where'd it was twenty bucks. This? It was twenty bucks for this. Uh, it looks and like the one flavor I wanted. They didn't fucking have. It looks like we're missing out on the strawberry. So check some yourself some packages. Bullshit. Topo Chico. I think you owe us here. Yeah, I think they do. I owe think. Us. Look at that. That is, dude. I love strawberry. This is too. double the mango. Madness, my friend. This is double the mango action that we were supposed to have here. It is. I don't even like mangoes that much, to be honest. No? No, I think... See, I was excited for the... I think the, the strawberry would have been good. The strawberry. All right, what do you want now, man? Well, we got lemon lime. Well, fuck this. Well, I'm going to take a lemon lime. I guess it's just wait. Should I also take a lemon lime, or should I try the... Uh, try another one, man. What do you want? Pineapple. You want pineapple, or you want <laughs> some mango? We got a lot of mango mango because they give us a lot. Maybe it's like a hard hitter. You want one? Yeah, it's real. Maybe it's that popular. Nice catch. Thank you. Good catch, man. All right. My brother plays baseball. (laughs) Little Topo Chico here for you. Let's uh, let's see, man. Yeah, I mean you can see it clear. Look at that. Clearly, you can see it right there on the box. Yeah, four flavors. Four flavors. Three, three, and three. What's going on? What happened here? What's going on here? All right. This isn't consistent. All right, buddy, you ready? Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, just slam the whole thing, yeah. <laughs> right, so get that slurp. Mar. Oh, yeah. That was pretty slurpy. Mm. That's uh, smoother. Say they, they say they're naturally flavored. Smoother than I thought it was. Are, uh, are lime white claws, are they, are li- white claws like artificially flavored? Yeah, they are definitely. This There's is like, natu- what does naturally flavored even mean in this context? I don't know. Like, are they squeezing lemons and limes into this to flavor it? Like, there's only two grams of sugar. I gotta be honest, this one's pretty good. This one's pretty good too. Yeah, it's more mellow than I thought it would be. It's real smooth. Only four point seven. What's White Claw? I don't know, man. I gotta be honest. I'm a little, I'm a little taken aback by are the you? seltzer discrepancy in the flavors, my friend. I am too. I can't believe they've done this to us. On camera. I mean, you saw it here Before first. you even opened the box, I asked for strawberry and they didn't have strawberry. You saw it here first. You know, summer of disappointment starting right here with the Topo Chico seltzers. <laughs> Just rip me on. All right. We're going to we'll come back. I'm not willing to give a, a full verdict yet. I'm going to sip on this. Maybe I'll crack open another one of these mango ones here in a minute. Yeah. Why don't you sit on it? Let's sit on it for a second. I'm going to put these out of the way. We can get the show back on the road. And then we'll we'll circle back to this one here in a minute. Yeah. We'll circle back to the seltzer review. We can do that. One thing I want to say is I think White Claw was just first. You think they're just first? You don't yeah. think it's that good? I think they're good, but I mean, they set the standard basically. So Yeah, I think you're right. I think they kind of did just set the standard. Do you like Topo Chico, the normal one? Just the yeah, seltzer water? Yeah, it's pretty good. I've only had it one other time, but it was good. 
I tried for the first time. I I'd had like the normal, just straight Topo Chico. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I don't really like seltzer water, so I don't think it's for me. It's just seltzer water, but I guess. The it's lime like one too fancy, and the right. grapefruit one, both. And Pre grapefruit, pretty good. I had those like a weekend ago. Pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty say? good, man. I yeah. don't like seltzers typically, but like I would recommend. But you would recommend that. I'd say this is pretty good too, to be honest. I'd say there's a lot of drinks people are just sleeping on. Except for coconut water. A couple grams of sugar. Don't in try here. coconut water. Coconut water tastes like piss, dude. It's if your yeah. piss is really sweet, maybe. <laughs> you said salty though. You said it was salty. True. That is there is salty coconut what water? My piss tastes like. What? Is there, is there salty? salty coconut water? There was salt in that one. Oh, you got added salt? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you got the added salt coconut water? The labeling really got me. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a nice bottle. I'll say that. It's a good bottle. But I wasn't impressed. Yeah, it wouldn't be either. All right. All right, moving right yeah. along here. Uh, this is a little bit heavier topic, but, you know, a guy like you likes to fool around. You said you might have some fun material with this one. Me? Yeah, a guy like you. Yeah. That I Fast and the Furious shirt. Yeah, I have a lot of experience. Yeah. So, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't know, man. Who? I'm trying to think of how to phrase this, but basically what I'm getting at is like... What are you saying? It's pretty sad when like a childhood kind of icon, mm -hmm. something from your from your upbringing, kind of has a fall from grace, you know? Yeah. It's been a it's been a a lot of that too, especially with all the Me Too kind of stuff, you know? Lots of people. A lot of people. It's taken bodies. Tons of people. And it's claimed another one, man. I saw this for the first time probably a couple of weeks ago, but today I think it was, or maybe it was yesterday, the 11th or the 12th. I forget what day exactly, but yeah. here sometime recently, Drake Bell. He uh he pleaded guilty, man. Yeah, the trial's like over. Um, I think he still has to be sentenced. Right. He has probation, maybe. Oh, okay. I I know that there was something about a, like probation, but. The thing is, is like from what I read, <clears throat> he groomed this girl like from 15. like 12 years old to like 15. When, when she, she was 12? He started when she was 12. Oh, I thought it started when she was 15. Well, here's what the article I read. And the article I read, just so I can give you, you know, what I was reading here, the yeah, source, because yeah. I don't want to be, you know, I want to just be hearsay, you know, contributing to the rumor mill. Yeah, you know. As they say. Even that article probably got it from somewhere else. Yeah, definitely. But basically... This is from Channel 6, South Florida. Thank you, Channel 6. South Florida, what's up? Uh, <laughs> they were saying that basically this girl claimed he, they first got in contact through like social media where they were messaging when she was like 12 years old, right? She was like a big fan. She was that young. And the minute that she That's turned young. 15, he started like... Things got explicit. Got like sexual. They got, yeah. Got, they got a little lewd. Yeah, a little R-rated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little M for mature. And it sounds like, I don't know exactly what happened. I I couldn't quite find it in here, but it sounds like on tour, there was some shit that kind of happened at one of his shows backstage. A bit of young fellatio, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> oh, yeah. When he met her? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I met her and got some uh something he shouldn't have got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You ever you ever just see someone who's like reaching into the cookie jar man and they shouldn't be? It's kinda yeah, like I know that. what you mean. Kinda like I know that. What you mean, just driving a white van. Except instead of a white van, you have a sold out arena in Central America. In a backstage. But and the other thing, that's the other thing, is not only this, Drake's been pulling a lot of tricks because like his name is not even Drake Bell. Apparently it's Jared Bell. I didn't and he's know been that. going by Drake Campana since like 2020, last year. Why Campana? I don't know. And he also just came out with five days ago that he's apparently married, secretly married, and has a kid. Really? Yeah. I saw that. And this just all came to light understand. even like the last... I think initially the first trial where he pled not guilty was like about a month ago, maybe uh -huh. a little bit more. Yeah. And then now he just pled guilty. And probably had some kind of settlement. And it sounds like he's only getting... Let me see. I have my notes. I think here. it was only like two It was like years? a little bit of probation. Probation? Yeah, yeah like probation two years probation or something. Yeah. It was like something that, from what I can tell about the story, from what this woman said... Yeah, this whole thing has been weird. And she was 15 when it happened that he started being lewd. 
which was he That's was 31 the at part. the time. He was 31 at the time. But he's grooming her from like 12. Yeah, which would have been three years prior. So he would have still been like 27 like or 27. 28, man. He would have been like 27, like 28. a 12 year old. Hitting yeah. up. A, yeah. That's someone older than me. I couldn't picture it's in like my Disney fucking Channel night- worst nightmare. Dude, in my nightmares. That was Nickelodeon. But in my right. nightmares, could I picture hitting up some 12 year old? No, uh, uh-uh, not at like twenty seven. No, especially. fuck no. Jesus Christ. Yeah, not right, man. That guy's fucking eighteen. Yeah, he's fucked in the head. That guy is fucking. What the, the fuck's head. going on in Hollywood, man? With I all mean, these pedophiles. Shouldn't he get more than that? Yeah, Cosby got fucking out. Fucking Cosby got out. All these people are like, getting this out, is man. Fucking insanity, honestly. This is this is crazy. I don't know. Let me take a little drink of the seltzer real quick here to I'll take a little drink break. Clear my fucking head. <laughs> I think I'm ready for a review on it. You are? Yeah. Did you just finish it? No. No. Oh. But it's impressive. No, I'll we'll save it. We'll save it for when I finish. You want to save it? Yeah, let me get a Yeah, look. I've been lingering on it. Maybe we have to let it get a little warm. <laughs> Put it through the It's a key point. The roundabout. We talked about that. We said that. Yeah. You know, you can't drink a seltzer warm, but if it's good warm, it's got something going for it, even if the packaging is fucked up. <laughs> true if you get the wrong drink you know if you get the wrong drink but it still tastes all right if or it's not been left out them. for a little while you know then you might be all right you might be all right all right anyway drake bell on to the next dirty fuck uh he's been lying a lot i mean lots I don't of know. secrets apparently lots of secrets fucking secret family a lot of crazy shit going on i don't know it things seem suspicious too because like right around the time that he allegedly got married yeah is like right around the time that she in this article that was in that florida newspaper the florida news that's around you know? the time that it happened. that's the time that it happened so like within like a year he got married of that so After i'm thinking that dream. maybe he like that happened and he was like i fucked up yeah this is total speculation of course total speculation right jesus seltzer's no burp. <laughs> it's a good burp it's a good burp uh highly rated <laughs> uh <laughs> anyway Around the time, this is pure speculation. I might just be making up my own story, hearsay, as yeah, they call it. But uh, uh, it sounds like he, I think that he did this, was like, oh, fuck, I fucked up, and then tried to make a break to Mexico, tried to head south, you know, like a little southern runaway thing. What does Mexico have to do with it? It's where he lives now. Oh, I really? Think it, I don't know if it's Mexico or just Central America. Is that when he changed but his he's like, name, too? Yeah, that, he's been going by Drake. No, that came a couple years later. That says 2012 is what I got in my notes here. That he changed, he started, he didn't change his name uh, legally, but he started going by Drake Campana or whatever. Campana? Yeah, Campana? I think that's what it said. I yeah. think that was the pronunciation. Okay. <clears throat> so I don't know. I'm thinking he, that maybe he tried, tried to, to little make a southern southern break. You know, tried what I mean? to flee to Mexico. Tale as old as time, man. It used to happen in the old west, apparently, all the time. <laughs> Jared Bell. Yep. Jared uh, not even Jared. Subway. Yeah, Jared Bell. Jared from Subway. Don't hire Jared. Don't even name. If you name your kid Jared, just be he's, prepared for the consequences. He's gonna have to change it someday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> it's not funny. It's sad, honestly. It, yeah. You know, hopefully, it all kind of works out. It sounds like there's a settlement that's gonna be reached. Um. And hopefully something more than just a little bit of probation happens to him. I gotta say that that's just my personal opinion. That's just I my agree. personal opinion. I don't know like the full scope, I guess, of the trial. Yeah, I don't either. But cool. Well, that sounds good there. Um, let's get off of that heavy topic. Let's finish these up. Let's let's put them to bed, and then we'll give yeah, our review, and then we'll jump into the next little segment here. We got wrap things up nice and neat. Put a little bow on it. Gluten free. Yeah? Yep. Natural flavors. Yeah. Added minerals for taste. I can read. 100 calories, 12 ounces. I just can't chug like I used to. 5 milliliters. 100 calories a can is pretty low. I mean, that's like White Claw, too. It's like a Mick Ultra. I don't like Mick Ultra. Do you? You a Mick no. man? No. No, you don't? No, I'm against Mick Ultra. What's your least favorite beer? Mick Ultra. Yeah? That's the lowest? <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Guinness is pretty nasty. You don't even like Guinness? See, Do you like Guinness? Drink a Guinness, yeah. You are something else. <laughs> what, you are something else. Uh, but you'll drink that? You'll drink a... 
A Mick Ultra? Yeah. Over a Guinness every day. Really? Every damn day. Mick Ultra just tastes cheap. I don't know. But Guinness just makes me feel like I'm like 10 pounds heavier. I mean, I wouldn't prefer a Guinness. It's a heavy beer. Mm-hmm. I think part of it You're could right. be that I don't like beer either. No, it's a heavy beer, though. Go get a tall boy from the corner store. A Heineken right. tall boy. What do you think? You give it like a... Let me give it like an 8 out of 10. Yeah? It was good. Smooth. Smoother than like some seltzers, you know? Some seltzers hit hard. This one felt more like a drink. It's... I don't know. I think softer it's, taste. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. It's I think good. it's it tastes sweeter. I don't know what yours tastes. This like. one tasted sweeter. Really? Yeah. Sweeter? I think. I think it tasted sweeter. I'm gonna say seven seven. Seven point seven. Yep. Seven point seven. Seven point seven. Seven point seven. Okay. That's the review. I think that's a good review. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend checking them out. I don't know. Well, I got to try this mango one later and this pineapple. I'm still pissed off about the goddamn strawberry, though. So The mango's good. I don't think it tastes like mango, but I don't think anything fake mango tastes like mango. No, no, that's 100% true. But I bet the lemon lime's good. I bet the pineapple's good. The lemon lime was good. I don't like pineapple in general. Really? So I have my doubts about that, but that could just be personal. That could just be personal taste. I think you're I'm just willing biased. To, I'm willing to admit that. <laughs> I think you're just biased. Yeah, I'm sure pineapple. probably everyone is a little bit. You know, it's just a thing. This guy's racist. All right, man, let's wrap this shit up. We're coming <laughs> up on the 30-minute mark. <coughs> yep. Jesus. How does that sound in the headphones? It's a good burp. Yeah, is she hearty? <laughs> it sounds crisp, yeah. You can get a nice little clip of that. Yeah, she's hearty. <laughs> <laughs> you're all right, girl. You're all right, girl. All right, cool, man. Well, we got the songs of the summer here. And this was inspired by, I read an article here about Obama, his uh, summer playlist. He just he just came out with his summer playlist. Yep. What was this? I think yesterday, maybe? The 11th, I believe, he uh, put this bad boy out. Let's find out here. For like this year, right? Yeah. Like this for, summer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Summer 2021. We're looking at 16 hours ago. Yeah, yesterday. Came out with this shit yesterday. Yes, sir. And uh, it's got a bunch of good songs on it. You can check it out. You know, you got a little uh, George Harrison. You got Migos, Rihanna, um, Jay-Z, Bob Dylan. I mean, you got the whole gamut. He's got a, a wide, an eclectic mix for you. Does he? Yep, Is an eclectic mix, indeed. A very unbiased mix? Um, Sure, you could call it that. Yeah. He tweeted it out uh, July 10th, 7.13 a.m., so two days now at the time of recording. Uh. And something I found out about this is like I knew he did this last year too. I remember seeing the uh, the summer mix, but apparently, I don't know if you knew this, but they started doing this in 2015. Obama did. I didn't know and that. And it was the White House joined Spotify in an effort, you know, to hit those trends as they do, yeah, as they of would course. try to connect with the. I feel youths. like it's something Obama and Biden would do in their presidency. Yeah, man, it seems like a cool idea to get the White House on yeah. Spotify. So did so Trump it, do it too? You know that I did not know. Look, look it up. Did Trump yeah. ever post a summer? I wonder what would have been on Trump's summer playlist. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's just all artists would be offended. I don't know, man. I feel yeah. like it's just all. Uh, if I'm being, if, like, if I had to guess, it'd be like a lot of Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, a lot of probably. Bruce Springsteen. Which you know it is what it is. I'm not like the biggest Boss fan. I will say, but here's you know. Donald Trump's summer. Playlist. Did he have one? Yeah, he did. I think it says summer playlist. Is it like the official one, I wonder? Maybe it's just something else he did. Hmm. Let's find out and see how fast the internet goes. Let's see. Features all the great white rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this just like someone made this up and they're like, this is Donald Trump's summer playlist? Oh, this is going back to Obama. Well, what a f- yeah. What a fucking headline. What a headline indeed. So yeah, they're just kind of it was yeah. pure speculation there. It seems like Obama's been doing this and like been keeping it up though, even not being in presidency yeah. though, right? It sounds like he's done it every so. year since 2015 when he did it first as president. And according to the official White House website, they had a whole press release about this. Uh, it, it said the president got serious. He grabbed a pen and paper and drafted I up not that was one, so funny. but two 
separate summer playlist. One for the daytime and one for the evening. <laughs> okay, boomer. So my man, like <laughs> my man takes his paper. playlist seriously. And it seemed like he knew the what trend, he was doing. I, I won't say I knew every single song on the list, but I, I took a look at them and the trend seemed to be, you know, you got your upbeat, your bangers during the day. And then you got those slow jams in the evening. He had a chill playlist. He had those slow, for him and Michelle getting down. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's hard to have sex in the White House. You just got to have a Secret Service watching. It's just an inherent cuck scenario. <laughs> really? Yeah. Or maybe not cuck. Secret Service word, men love it, Because it's still though. you and your, your significant other. But you're forcing someone into cuck? Mm-hmm. You're, it's a forced cuck situation. Oh, weird. Imagine <laughs> taking that home with you. <laughs> Oh, honey, oh. today was rough. Oh, <laughs> rough. You think they take shifts watching? <laughs> <laughs> There's just always a Secret Service guy in the corner, like, <laughs> in the wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this isn't true. I hope it is. <laughs> like Indiana Jones or something. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, sir. We have to watch you at all times. At all times. I took an oath, At all times. At all times. I took an oath. (laughs) Oh, my God. That's so fucking stupid. Sir, I'm sworn to it. (laughs) (laughs) So stupid. Oh, man. Anyway, (laughs) back on track. Um, He's been doing this for a while, so we wanted to take the liberty... And uh, give you, uh, you know, for this week at least, we did the top five songs or whatever last week, just our kind of top five mix. This week, we tried to keep in mind, you know, what we would consider to be uh, like a couple summer play, a couple a couple songs of the summer, if you will. Mm-hmm. So I'll start you off here. My one and two spot, I got uh, King Gizzard, Yours, their new song off that new album came out like a month ago, I think. I've been listening to that like nonstop. Yeah, it's a great album. It's like... I don't know. I get those summer vibes from it personally. Yeah. I don't. Maybe it's just me. No, I'm yeah. sure not everyone would. But like, it's got mm-hmm. it's got a good feel. Some of those songs in that album are already in their like top ten. I believe it. I mean, they're 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 some of their better songs. I'd say. Yeah, yeah. They seem like they've come through like a revival kind of. Yeah, man. I mean, when you put out that much music, it's kind of crazy that you can even stay stay doing. Yeah. I mean, what do they got? Like twenty albums out now in like ten years or something. Do you think they're they just like focused on it more then? I don't know if they focus on more. Works? I think maybe I just personally connect with it more because I'm sure if you ask some people, they would be like, "Yeah, it's not my favorite." But like personally, I thought it was pretty damn good. True. Yeah. Um, well, that's music. And then also with that, it's just kind of been. It looks like it hit for me this summer from like those guys out of Australia because the Murlocs, you know, a couple of those people those in guys King Gizzard Australia. also. So it's kind of like basically the same band except. Yeah, know, different variations of the same band, but they had that song that just came out, Francesca. Pretty fucking good. It's a hitter. It's pretty fucking good. It was pretty. A song of the good. summer, you might say. For the current moment, yes. Well, we might get back Could to you next week and see if the songs of the summer have changed up for us. Be but knocked down. Francesca, I think, is pretty goddamn. All right, we'll it's keep, up there. You should we'll check keep it a out. top five list. So I don't know, man. You got a couple songs here too. What do you want to run me through them here? Uh, Tell me a little bit about them. Three, four, five. Three is "Changing Colors" by uh, Babe Rainbow. Always a That's a great to hear. band, yeah. They always just put out some real summer vibes type shit. It's good though, really yeah, man, chill. It's good. it's good shit. Um, really easy to listen to. Um, number four is Your Life, Your Time. This one came out, I think, like in the beginning of the year. It wasn't bad though. That. This kid came out of kind of like nowhere, I think. Yeah, I'd never heard this song to be honest. I don't, I don't even know who Christian Lee is. Really? Yeah, he was. Yeah, like, go check it out. I don't know, just some kid. Yeah. Yeah, Some he's guy. been making music for a little while, but I think that this is like his first EP. Okay, cool. Not bad. And then yeah. in number five, we got Pistol Whip by Spill Tab. This is a song I found um, a few months back, and I've just really liked it. It's got really good tone shifts in it okay. halfway through. You know, really good, like, party song. Hit. What kind of music just is it? Just fucking hits you. Because these three were you. I don't know. I know the Bay Rainbow one, but I don't know those other two, to be honest. Uh... Four and five are probably alternative. Three is uh, indie. A little more indie type stuff. Probably more indie, yeah. Cool, man. Well, fuck yeah. We'll have to check those. I'll have to check those out. Check those out. Check others out. You know, give give all those, those a listen. It's from the experts here, Dustin Warbach. He's been studying music for 
for decades. Years. Years. He's my a whole conno- life. A connoisseur, you might call it. My whole life. <laughs> <laughs> he was on tour with the Rolling Stones back in the day, weren't you? Yeah. An understudy baby. Of. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's the show. Uh, <laughs> fucking, we, yeah. it got off the rails in a couple parts. Yeah, <laughs> it did. It's like 36 minutes. got off the fucking rails in a couple parts there, but pretty good. Seltzers, 7-7, seven, seven, 8 over there. Check them out. Uh, Topo Chico, if you see this bullshit, we want the we want to try those goddamn red ones. Yeah, I want some, a strawberry. This is some shit. I don't know. If you How does that happen? Thing, if you guys have watched this, if you're watching this and you also bought the Topo Chico seltzers and not gotten what you paid for, Maybe drop a little comment down there. We can do mm-hmm. you know, a little solidarity yeah. on that. Somebody mail it to my home. Someone mail one over too. Yeah, someone mail one to <laughs> Dustin's home address. I'll put it right here. Three, two, five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a sound. Oh right. man! All right, <laughs> that's the show. Uh, like, share, Thank subscribe. You. Love you, baby. Did you miss me? I know you did. That's why you should like, share, comment, subscribe, all that shit. Click another video. Uh, You don't know I'm going to cry tonight a lot. I'm going to cry a whole lot.